Hey there guys, how's it going and welcome to a PvP base tutorial for Ark Survival Evolved. I'm going to show you how you can make an easy, quick, convenient, very small base. Uh, maybe it might be useful if you're just joining a server. This is obviously a very early days base, uh, nothing really for long term, but just something for those situations where maybe you're fresh on a PvP server, you don't have a lot of time, maybe there's a very low gather rate and you want to get something quite secure cure quite quickly i have added some more advanced things on here for if you want to develop the base uh, but basically it's a tutorial saying you had to make something relatively safe very small and that also has a lot of the things that you're going to need in arc and how to make the most out of your space in arc when building a base because obviously when it comes to pvp time is pressure time is money you need to spend as little time as possible on the safest defense you can possibly make before you either log off or whatever so first of all what location have i chosen this is actually quite a nice little location to choose for a very very early stage base i wouldn't really try and be here end game because there's not much obsidian there's not much crystal stuff like that but there is metal here there's a lot of decent dinos and it's very easy to spawn near so as you can see this is 81 47 and if we have a little look on the map here 81 down the side and then 47 across the bottom so it's almost right in the middle of the map there uh, quite near the south coast let me just put this away uh, now I have thrown these behemoth gates here up and these uh, these spikes just as a little something just as an added extra just to show you uh, that those can be put on here but the main thing here is this base and that is a two by two base in the middle there now we do have these extra foundations here but like i said there's a few little added extras so this is just like a little added extra um the real fundamentals of the base is all in a two by two foundation square so i'm going to show you it show you how it's done and then we're going to go and try and make it again from scratch while you guys are watching also obviously i've got the dino pen on here here. this is another nice little addition so first things first what i really like about this base design is you would presume that this is the front door and that again has been done on purpose so you go in here and what i've done here is i've made a little space for crop plots obviously grow your plots in a relatively safe space we've got the greenhouse here i don't know why that's not having a greenhouse effect <laughs> it was earlier but either way you can make a nice greenhouse effect it might be those plant species up there that i just put on but there you see um just some medium crop plots just so that you can can fit your um, crops on there yada 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 basically it's just an outside space but a lot of people might go in here thinking this is the front door and then they'd get met with this which is a double wall so a lot less convenient they would have already spent some of their explosives might not have brought enough to blow up any more than a couple of walls and so where is the entrance you might ask well it's through the dino pen now in this dino pen obviously this is a very small dino pen but i've given you an example that you can fit a few dinos in here just some utility dinos if i took out this dire bear and beaver because obviously i understand those are quite high-end dinos um then you can fit a track in here as long as a raptor and if you put a ceiling on you can put your flyer on a top level like that so anyway in here is the actual front door let's see if i can just get around here obviously you're gonna get have to get used to crouching and a lot of that kind of stuff if you're gonna make such a small base it's gonna be difficult to maneuver around but it is what it is so the first tip really that a lot of you know is it's a good idea to put your entrance not on the base level just make it a little bit harder for people to break in because obviously the doors are weaker uh, than walls obviously we've got a double door as well and this whole base is double walled and double door and double everything if you don't know how to do that i'm sure most of you do by now i'm going to show you how to do that in just a minute so here we've got the top level and we can see we've got all of your modern conveniences apart from a couple of things which are actually on the level below now you might be wondering jay why are there so many mortar and pestles here and surely you're not going to use that many mortar and pestles well the reason is you can use them for storage so although mortar and pestles are great for storage they have the same amount of storage as a small storage box and they take up a lot less room and obviously you can walk over them as well so you can access things like this from above you can access while also being able to get on top of those now the only downside really with mortar and pestles is that you can't pin code them and apart from the fact that they don't hold loads of stuff uh, but five of these here will give you a hundred slots I think I think like 12 slots each so I think it's six even obviously yes yeah, six will give you um or six will give you 60 no 
70 slots anyway they're quite good for storage i've put a large storage box here managed to sneak this in here because these are quite good because like you say you can pin coat these so at least it gives you that little added extra of protection so you might want to put some things in there pin coded we've managed to fit a fridge here in the middle we've got a preserving bin um you might think why do you have that when you've got a fridge obviously this is for making your jerkies uh, three no less forges which is a quite a decent amount especially for either one or two players that's not a bad amount to have uh, there for smelting we've got the smithy in the corner here and we've also fitted the generator now as you can see i've got a few of these things on catwalks catwalks are a very very cool idea for adding extra space and uh, allowing you to put a few more extra things in your base now um i could go up to the top here just show you the top on the top there is plenty of room here for some turrets uh, i've got wooden spikes over the top of the dino pen there unfortunately i couldn't fit the ceilings on all the way around there but when i try and rebuild this i'm going to try and make it so i can do that so on this second go we're going to have i'm going to try and make it so i do have all the ceilings there but if you do have a few gaps like i do use wooden spikes people can't shoot through them obviously people can't barrel through them they're not really that secure very easy to blow up but it's just another little extra line of defense and the top here is big enough for you to obviously have your trapdoor as well as some of these plants species uh, i've gone for some catwalks as well they're very easy and quick to make but it allows you to have a few more extra plant species on the top here and obviously the much higher end thing is the turret and you'll see that all of these turrets are powered by that one generator with that one box and even these ones which i've put out here are all powered by that one box in the middle now i have to say that it, once you get to the point where you do have turrets you probably want to get away from like a two by two base but like i say this is just an idea for a very quick very simple base um, where you can actually uh, set up very quickly on your own and maybe you can stay here for longer if you enjoy the area and you think that you can keep it more protected or obviously you can move on to somewhere and perhaps up north so i didn't actually show you the downstairs um, it's a bit more crowded downstairs so this is two layers this is actually three higher this base and so go downstairs here you have got to be a bit tricky with your trapdoor sometimes can they can be a bit tricky to work around and then downstairs we have a compost bin obviously if you don't really feel like you want your compost bonds compost bin inside you can have it outside you could have a dung beetle here um, you could have more campfires here more mortar and pestles you could have all kinds of stuff in here but i've just put the compost bin just to show you that even with this very small base you can have an inside and secure compost bin as well as a fire to cook your uh, meat on again campfires are things that you could probably just have outside and use this room for extra other things that you might find useful and then in here we've got the fabricator behind this door now this can be a little bit tricky doing this uh, i've put it behind this door because obviously when people raid like this it's just another layer for them to try and get through to get to that fabricator but it does make it a little bit inconvenient uh, because you can only access it once you're on the other side of the door you see like this and so now i can access it and you've got to be able to get inside there like that and i found when i double doored this i wasn't able to do that so i've just got one door there it's a little bit of a weak link in the base but the fact that we've got a fabricator a smithy a generator turrets free forges loads of storage i mean if you think each of these is 12 storage so we've got hundreds of spaces for storage we've got 75 spaces for storage in the smithy we've got a fridge basically pretty much everything that you need in arc is in here even to quite high level and this is a two by two relatively secure base i mean don't get me wrong some of our rocket launcher is just going to blast through this very quickly but if you're at the stage on your server where people are getting rocket launchers maybe this won't be the one for you maybe this is more of a primitive build or an early on build so that is basically it for having a look at the base i'm now going to show you how to build it it's really not that difficult i'm sure most of you can work out how it's built but we're going to have another go see if we can make another area and like i said before actually these wooden spikes these just give an added extra layer of defense uh they're not really that strong but anything that puts people off from raiding is very easy to make i'm a fan of and you can see this area again is quite good because you can just make three best stone behemoth gates when you get to that stage and then you're completely safe from any sniper fire like you see if i didn't have these spikes here and i stood around here i could get a snipe tap from over there that's the real reason for it just to block line of sight from cheeky little snipers and stuff like this so you can carry on in peace and get on with your building so i'm going to clear all of this now i'm going to get rid of all of this we're going to start from scratch and make this all over again okay so we've cleared this area let's put these foundations down uh let's get started you can of course double foundation uh, which is quite easy to do you just put a, a pillar down there in the middle of the first foundation 
Then you find the lowest snap point. Just check, obviously, see if you can get both snap points just so you can be sure that it is the lowest snap point. There's the top one. There's the lower one. Uh, and then you can, of course, if you don't know already, put the other ones on top of that. And then you can go around like that, and then you can get rid of this one and do the same. Bloody blah, I'm sure most of you know about the double foundation technique. It's not really a new technique. Uh, and it's something that I've showed before in previous videos. So let me just see if I can get it here as well so we can make this whole bit even. Obviously, if you are going to be doing like builds like this, you're going to get loads of times where you can't find that friggin' snap point. There it is. And it's going to be quite annoying, but that's just something you're going to have to deal with if you want to do these kind of builds. So let's get rid of that. Next up, what we're going to do is we're going to put the fence foundations around the outside here. This is going to allow us to double layer the walls without uh, having to do it on an area where two foundations um, meet. Let me just make sure we do this all the way around. Now, you can put them outside as well there and then put more walls on the outside. But we're doing this build as kind of trying to save on... Um, materials oh my there you go look you see that you can actually put your walls on there and that will give you an extra uh level of um protection but it can get a little bit messy so i'm just going to do it on the inside here all the way around um now i'm going to have my fabricator in here um but before i put the fabricator down i'm going to put the walls around it down because you can actually put the fabricator quite close to the wall so now to double wall this it's just all about finding these two snap points they're really not too difficult to find there's one there's the other and on each one you want them going on well on the outside as much as possible in terms of where they are so you want to try and get it so that both of them are uh, both of the wall side i guess i would call it uh, outward facing so there's the outside one you can see that that's outward facing here's the other one there's inward facing and we're gonna go like that so i'm gonna build these just do these ones here as well there's that inward facing one there's that outward facing one no problem and then one more here that's good and ironically sometimes you have to go right to get the snap point that's on the left uh, and then we're going to put my fabricator down here because it will now allow you to put the fabricator down obviously you just want to put it as far back as it will physically go now you might start to get it through the wall here a little bit but with the double walling it's not really an issue they can't see that if it was a single wall sometimes it pokes through the wall but here it's not an issue and you can also see here we've got room I mean, this isn't very well placed at all. I'm going to replace that. That is absolutely horrendous. Let's get my other fabricator. I should have done it the proper way where everyone does it by using K. So if you're not stupid like me, you'll do this correct first time and you'll use this method, <laughs> which is what everyone uses to do this kind of stuff. And I, I should have just done that. So obviously let's push it back. Look, and here you can see there, this is like way far back. I mean, to be fair... If you wanted, you could then leave this open. I don't think that's going to show out the back. No, you can see it doesn't show out the back, which is quite nice. That's really, really far back. So that could even... You could leave this space open if you want, but I just think it's a cool idea to have a little bit of extra uh, love going on here. So here we can see the two different snap points on the inside. Let's just put our uh, door frames on there. You can do two. You can do one. It's all up to you, really. I mean, let's just do two for the sake of it. Uh, let's put our doors on there as well. I've got my doors. Beautiful. So there you can see you've got a fabricator. But like I said, you can't access the fabricator unless you're on the other side of the door. But having placed this really far back... Ah, that's good actually. This is going to allow you to do that without with also having the double doors. My last build, I didn't do that as well. So I highly recommend maybe you guys try and do this at the same time that I'm doing it because you will always learn. Every single time you will learn something that will allow you to do it a little bit better. And each time you get better, you're going to be making better builds every single time. So we've got that fabricator area secure there. Now we're just going to go and finish off the rest of these outside walls. Now, this is interesting. That's something I've just seen. By doing the double foundations on here, I've actually got a different snap point for the top. So that's one thing you have to watch out for. You can see there I'm getting all kinds of upper and lower and fence foundation snap points. I actually kind of want the higher one, to be honest, like that. So I'm going to try and make sure I put it there. But if you do do the double foundation stuff, um, that can be an issue. So let me get my... I've got some hatch frames on me. I need to get a few more here. Um, hatch frames and trapdoors 
And I'm going to do this bit uh, just flying, but it's it's not too difficult to do when you're not flying. So you can of do, of course, do that. So now it's about finding these snap points and finding ones that suit you and are going to allow you to move around nicely. So as you can see here, we have an array of snap points. I like to try and get one as close to the middle as I can. And for the second one, again, as close as I can, that allows me to have maximum space because you might be able to see. Let's see if I can like find another one. Some of them, over, like for instance, that would massively overlap and that wouldn't really allow me to get up and down out of there very easily at all. So let's put the trapdoors on as well. Um, this is something that you're going to have to hope goes well as well because this can be a nightmare. So these are awkward angles. So once they're down, then I would personally try and decide where you're going to have your ladder. Let me just see if I can um, make a ladder here. Oh, I haven't learnt ladder. Let me uh, just give myself engrams. Let's cheat, give engrams. Okay, so let's do a ladder. I would probably do a rope ladder actually if I can. Have I got rope ladder? I don't have enough thatch and fiber. That is unbelievable. If I've got enough for a normal ladder, we'll just do that. Okay, let's get ourselves a. Um, actually, we can do a. We should probably do a rope ladder. That's ah, it. We're going to do a, a normal ladder. Let's just do it like that. Now, once your trapdoors are placed is when you're going to want to figure out where you're going to have your ladder because uh, it's going to allow you to figure out where it's going to be the least amount of uh, what's going to be not blocked by your freaking ladder and allow you to get up. Jeez, this is being a right pain. You do have to wait until you find that open. There we go. So I would say this is probably going to be a good place to have it. Let's see how that works out. Obviously, if this takes you a few goes or is a nightmare, it's not the end of the world. I'm not actually going to put it there because it's going to block my door there. So let's put it here. And that should be fine. And that should be pretty convenient to get up and down from there. You see, I've double closed that. So now let's put these ceilings down. Actually, I need to do this one more wall. We can't walk on a wall, unfortunately. But we should be able to do this okay. Um, hmm, this is a bit harder to see where's the actual outside and where's the inside got the inside one is definitely there so we'll do that second and this one is the outside one so let's place that down I've done that the wrong way it is a little bit more difficult to see there we go that's it there and then we've got this inside one like that okay so we've managed to do that from the inside nicely now we can go up here oh my word <laughs> this is a little bit annoying but if you're gonna have a, a small base like this you are gonna have to get used to doing little annoying things like that now let's try and find the two snap points that kind of work. I don't want them too far on the outside here. And I don't want them too far on the inside either. So that one looks nice to me. Let's get another one. That one looks okay. That's going to give us full coverage, which is fine. Uh, now let's put them over the top here as well. This one looks like... The top one looks like it's connecting to this ceiling. I'm going to try and put it on the lower one, which I think is there. And then I'm going to connect the other one to that ceiling there i think that's going to work out absolutely fine this does have a bit of an overhang here it's not really an issue i mean if you're super super um oc do you about it obviously you can just try your best to make sure it's not like that now i would like one right in the middle there i think it will just look nicer so let's get that snap point there and then let's get the one above nothing too high i mean maybe a higher one would be better off let's just try that Right, that looks fine to me. So we've got the first layer done. And you might be thinking, uh, okay, Jay, well, now you, uh, how are you going to get into this base? We're going to put the uh, ladder next to the pen. Now, hmm. See, the way I've done this, I'm not that happy with it. I mean, I don't want to be going in there and then walking over that spot. Or do I? Should it be okay? I probably will do it here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make another ladder. I think I need to get a bit more of this. And we're going to do what you saw earlier on. We're going to put it on the first level instead of the ground floor. There we go. So I'll plop that on there. And we're going to have the door here. So this is going to be the door. Now, you can like plan this all out perfectly. I kind of like tend to see how it goes and just make the best of it. And again, you can see the two double snap points really not that hard to see and you could do this all the way around so i'm just going to continue with that and try and do that all the way around now here's an interesting one here you can see we've got all kinds of snap points now you want to try and get the one that's close as possible the reason this is happening is because of those ceilings that we've put on 
at awkward angles, which is causing us to have all these funny little snap points. But trust me, there is one that's super close. You do want the one that's as close as possible, because otherwise it's going to minimize the amount of space you've got um, when designing the inside. So I'm just going to try and do that outside one first. And it might take me quite a while. But obviously it's not that one. Sometimes you have to go right. I think it's that one, to be honest with you. You can see that's pretty close. And there was definitely another one. You see, that is that one. And there was definitely another one further on the inside, which I think is that one there. Obviously, I can't place it now because I put that one. So you want to try and get the one as close as possible. It can be super, super tricky. And you might mess it up like I do all the time. But it's something you have to think about. If you if you want to do this, if you want to save a bit of space, then you're going to have to sacrifice a little bit of internal space to have a slightly more secure base on the inside. Now, as you can see here, I'm not super proud of how I've done this outside one. And the reason it's been like that is because I've put it on the ceiling. I've put the, the wall on the ceiling instead of that. So obviously that's something you can pay attention to. It doesn't really bother me too much. But if that super bothers you, it's just something to look out for when you're doing this. And uh, something you might want to try and avoid if it's something that really uh, triggers your OCD or something like that. So this is the basics of it finished. I'm not too happy about that side where I put the wall on the ceiling. But like I said, you live and you learn and you can look out for that if that particularly bothers you either way. But still, this is just as secure as it would be either way. So let's just start putting the uh, ceilings on. Try and get... As long as you get double layers on both, it's going to be absolutely fine and absolutely secure. But like I say, if you're super, super funny about where everything is, then you might want to uh, have a look out for that. I'm going to put the trapdoors on this one. I think that looks like a nice placing. And is there another similar one? You can see there are some absolutely horrible ones here that are going to mean it's going to be very difficult to get to the top. But there are some ones that are very similar. I think that was it there. No, that's not going to do. Way too overlapping. Um, let's see. Can take your while. That that one looks alright. Well, that's because it is actually that one. That's why. Okay, this one could work. This one could work. I've got a feeling this is going to be a bit tricky. Ah, there. No, that's the same one. Damn it. Yeah, that keeps on being the same one. Okay, let's have a little play around. Like I say, this is just the kind of thing you're going to have to deal with if you want to do all of this. I think you will be able to get through there. Okay, we are going to have to try. And see, this could be this could be a disaster. This could be a problem. And if it is, we might have to reposition reposition this even. So let's just um, walk here. So can we make a ladder? Yep. Okay. So it makes sense to have the ladder on this side, looking at how that is positioned. So let's just uh, pop that on there. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. Yep. Well, what do you know? I say it's not going to be a problem, and it is exactly that. So let's grab it again. Now, can we get up this? We can't. See, this is an issue. So we're going to have to remake. I don't know if maybe if I do that open the other way, there's a chance that it will be okay. But I'm I'm not really happy with this. So I'm going to take a second to try and redo this and uh, try and make it so it's a lot easier to get uh, up and down. All right, so on this side, we managed to do it um, no problem. So you might have to work with things like that, find the best solution for you. Let's just finish off, do these ceilings. That one there looks absolutely fine. And let's find another little snap point. I think I saw one. Oh, there it is. Come on. There it is. Boom. Right there. So as you can see at this point, this is, for the most part, a very unsuspecting base. And considering the amount of stuff you can actually have in here, I think this is super, super cool to have on a PvP server. Let's just uh, make it close so it looks all finished and whatever. And if you came across this on a PvP server, I don't know about you, but I would be very, very reluctant to uh, even waste any explosives on this. I can't imagine anyone would have a decent amount of stuff or whatever in there. But you did see from the previous video that you can. Now, we're going to do the dino pen bit now. Now, there is a couple of options here. One thing you can do to make sure it's absolutely straight is put the fence foundations down here and then snap it to the fence foundations. Uh, it's been a right pain now because I've put those on. Let's see if I can... Uh... Now, you can put fence foundations just straight out and then put it against that. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ceilings on the top. So 
let me do that. See if I can reach them from down here. Yeah, let's put our ceilings on the top and then see if we can build them around that. I haven't actually done this before, so I don't know how good this is going to be. But if this works out okay, this will give a nice ceiling uh, to the top. And actually, I'd rather see if I can get rid of that one and uh, make it the one that's a bit closer in. So let's see if we should have a couple snap points there. Can we get the closer in one? That'll do, that'll do. Okay, so let's walk down there. So, obviously, it's ideal if you can have a proper ceiling to your dino pen. So, I'm not sure how close you can get your gate here if you do. Oh, wow. It is actually allowing me to put it all the way inside. I didn't know that was a thing. So, you might want to do that. That looks um, like it's going to work out super well. We just see you can get that so it's right on the outside, but still giving you enough space. Obviously, these dino gates don't cost too much. So, you can spend a bit of time getting it how you like um, I mean there's a tiny gap there but I don't think that's gonna be a massive issue so we're gonna go for another one here number one on there perfect yeah it's actually allowing me to put it right inside there so that is super cool uh, you can see about there looks good let's bring it out a little bit give ourselves maximum space let's give it a check right that looks super super nice actually so let's see how close we can put this one. Oh, you can actually put this one basically inside as well so i'm not going to need to check this one as harshly let's just plonk that down there and as you can see that has given me a pen that's a much better design than before so like i said previously like have a little bit of a practice and you will perhaps find something a little bit nicer so what do you know we've got to make ourselves an even better um the normal base or than we had before have i got you got the dino gateways for that oh yeah i do on number seven didn't see that there so let's plop these down and even better than before we've now got a much more contained dino pen and base and again this is very small this is very unassuming and uh it looks kind of nice i mean if if i was a big tribe and i saw this from a distance i don't think i would be like oh wow they're gonna have amazing stuff let's go raid it i mean obviously it's pvp anyone can raid you but this is very small but it does the job and obviously we can add plant species and so on so again this is another cool thing you look at this and be like where's the door again you have to blow through to even get to the original door which is quite a nice thing so let's get ourselves some catwalks we're going to give ourselves a um, few catwalks just so that we can position things. Let's start getting a few in things in here. Let's take two of these. Um, let's take two jennies. Just take two of everything in case we mess up. Fridges. More and pestles. Going to need a load of those. Uh, you might as well take all of those. And I think that will do for now. So let's put this stuff on the hot bar. I wouldn't mind a large storage box or two as well. We'll see how we can do that. And you know what? I'm I'm even going to just... This one will probably be a little bit different. You know, they normally do end up all being a little bit different. And that is absolutely fine. And you'll find that by doing them a bit different, you might even find something better than what you had before. So I'm just going to experiment and see what I can do this time. Now, if I could put a catwalk on here. And on that catwalk, I could maybe put a compost bin. So I'd be thinking about little things like that. Or I could put a ceiling on here, um, which would also be a decent idea. So let's have a look. We've got ceiling options. We've got catwalk options. I'm not sure if it will let me place a ceiling no it won't it is blocked by that door because i've put it inside so maybe this time um maybe i should have put it more on the outside you know it's something to consider because obviously i can't put that on there which is going to mean i can't put the extra level on here but as you can see i can put a catwalk and i could put a cooking pot on there or something like that catwalks are very very cool very very worth thinking about now this is the area where the catwalks are going to be now you can do the catwalks first and I'd actually insist um, or even encourage you to destroy this ladder in case it, it gets in the way and make a rope ladder instead. But I'm going to put the catwalks down first and then see how we go from there. I'm going to put, we see that a lot of them are blocked for one reason or another. They just do not like being placed sometimes. So you have to find the ones that suit it. But you are going to need some catwalks placed if you are going to be uh, building like that. There it is there. Can I just snap that on there? Okay, so I actually, when I look at that, do you know what I see? I think I can get my forges on there, then my preserving bin in the corner. Let me just see if I can make a preserving bin with what I've got. So I don't think I actually made any. Oh, I need a bit of fibre. What an absolute pain. All this preparation, I don't have a little bit of fibre to help out with that. So let's grab this. 
I know this is like a tutorial kind of thing that could have been a lot shorter. I could have made it more high. But I think a lot of you just enjoy sitting back and watching me build things. And I feel like this is a good opportunity. It gives you guys enough time to do this along with me. And um, try yourself and see if you can improve on this design. Like this, don't forget guys. I mean, considering the amount of stuff we're going to have here. This is still a 2x2 two two base, which is super cool. So I'm going to see how I can do if I put my forges in up here. Because I know I want three forges minimum. Uh, so let's just try putting them up here and see if we can get even more space than before. And the other nice thing about doing this is that you can um, you can really push stuff through the walls without worrying about it poking out because we do have that um, that double layering going on. So this is not enjoying being there. Just wants a little bit to the side. Come on. We saw, oh, we saw it there. There it is. Oh no, that's super close. This is going to happen when you're trying to really push the limits of space and so on. So, give it a few tries and you'll get there. Now, will I be able to fit that preserving bin up there? I'm not convinced looking at this. So, before I do that, I'm going to go for a smithy. Obviously, we need to leave this bit clear. So, let's see where we can fit in a smithy. Now, this is actually a perfect example of bad preparation. What I should have done... Oh, actually, that's going to be a nice placement. I should have put the smithy down first. I should have put the smithy down before I did the walls. That is something that a lot of people do, and it does help. But as you can see, because um, I'm working out a solution for this, this allows us to put it against the wall. It doesn't block anything. And it's going to be not bad for space saving at all. So that seems okay. I think this is going to allow me to put a chest against here somewhere. Let's have a little look. Can I fit it? anywhere around here just having a look where it fits if it doesn't fit that well you might have to reposition maybe you'll have to go without i don't know but if i put that there is that going to block the uh ladder i want to actually let me put that down there there we go so is that going to block the ladder i would have thought that is going to block the ladder so we're going to have to try and walk around this damn it's being a right pain um can we climb up we can indeed climb up so it doesn't look great. It's not amazing looking. And that I'm going to have to open these before I actually climb up. Because it's being annoying like that. But yeah, that will, by the looks of it, allow you to climb up. So there you go. That's just a little something that looked like it might not work. But it worked in the end. And if you want to get down, you probably just need to climb down. Yep, there you go. So we have actually managed to fit that in there. Wasn't expecting that. Um, what else do we need in here? We need the electrical generator. So let's see if we can... We can actually put that on the catwalk. So let's do that. It won't be an issue really that it's poking out the top uh, because we have um, the double layering. So it's not going to look particularly out of place. Oh, this is so annoying sometimes. Um, so yeah, normally on like a single layer, you'd worry about it poking out the top. But because we've double layered, I don't think that's going to be an issue. Now, I do want to check that because if you are going to put a generator like there, it is gonna, it's an integral part of the base. So you do want to check. As you can see, that is massively poking out the... Uh, back of the base so we're going to give that another go and uh, i definitely feel like i could have done this one better but it's good for me to do this it helps me learn how to do it better each time and uh, what to place in what order now you can see it will fit under there actually which looked like a nice place for it um and i don't think it will stick too much out the back there and i look it looks like i can walk around let's just try that no can't walk around there gonna have to give it another go Oh, we can't just make it like that. We have to grab another one. So let me just play around with this and see where I can, f what I can find for the best placement for this. Okay, so we had to do some rearranging, quite a lot of rearranging, in fact. Uh, but we've managed to find something that works and has pretty much everything that we would want to have inside of it. Now, the main thing that's tricky here with this build that I've done is that the fabricator sticks out and you can't place things on the fabricator. So I'd highly recommend that you try and have it so that the area that you uh, go into is where the fabricator is. And also, I think it might be better if I had the hatch frames here... But then I guess I'd still have the one on the bottom that I couldn't put anything on. So you can't put anything over the hatch frames. You don't want to. So you want to have them both on the same area. But obviously that can be tricky because uh, as you can see there, you're going to need to have it on the bit that's not the fabricator. So it can be difficult. Uh, but this is a super, super compact build. You could even just get around this by making the bottom floor, the bottom floor two levels instead of one. So having two levels of two higher would completely get around this and give you a lot more space. 
uh, but I just like the idea of trying to challenge myself to make something in a small space as possible and as you can see I've got a few more on pestles here not quite as many as in the previous build but then I do have a little bit more space uh, downstairs if I can just get here you've got to be this is very tricky you've got to get to the bit where it says open obviously and then oh you have to be on the other side of it even so you can't just do that either so find out where it says open then you have to climb down and then we're good we're out of here close that now down here is where i put the generator this time not put the compost bin i was having problems finding where i should put the generator this time and this time i've put it down here so arc is quite inconsistent when it comes to building the smallest changes can mean that you have to quite drastically change what's going on but i have put my uh, campfire in here and i have put my uh, fabricator in here with plenty of space actually and there is even enough space here for another mortar and pestle for crafting or for extra storage which is quite cool i don't know maybe you could get another one down here probably not but it's worth just checking because the mortar and pestles you know i could put that one over there but i'll never be able to get to that so that's kind of pointless uh but it is worth checking so again we've done this here just an idea for you to get start thinking a bit more about how you can maximize the space available you've got to you especially if you want to do pvp especially if you want to stay hidden like don't forget that in pvp it's not just important to be secure but being hidden is even better than being secure because if no one finds you they're not going to come and raid you so you can obviously put fit this under the trees it doesn't take up much space and uh it's very very unassuming i would say no one's going to expect much of that this isn't a bad place i either there's metal up the top there like i said you can behemoth gate it off if you want to expand here not a bad place not amazing for end game uh but decent overall but anyway it's been a long old video i could just start putting all the other stuff on the edge but you know what that's like just planting all the stuff on the edge and doing the turret placement or that kind kind of thing either way i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to have some new shit like button if you did and you'd like to see some more building tips videos and i'll see you all next time